welcome back to the um, so far so good by God grace we've been going through a lot of things in the scratch program as you can remember the other time we did a, a, a scratch called kick uh, we gave him an instruction or a call for him to, uh, to move to a certain position we were able to complete that lesson and today we are going to take a look at a new lesson we are going to develop a game called hide and seek hide and seek that is a new game that both of us are about to learn so you just have to pay attention because this type of game is going to make in more blocks I mean the quotes you are going to insert a lot so you just have to pay attention if you don't understand anything you can comment it or you just have to send me a question for me to give you an explanation so let's launch our application as usual now we've launched our scratch application and if you go to the top here you can see that I've named, I've named the program so what we are going to do is name it to my first project hide and seek you can also rename the title over there give it the name that we are going to do or the thing that we are going to do so as usual let's go and clean or delete our sprite card we don't need to be going to take a look at a different thing altogether so let's go for our backdrop then the sprite so first let's pick the backdrop from the backdrop button let's go to transfer for a nice background for what we are about to do is just hide and shake so i'm going to choose the jungle Good. now after choosing your backdrop you're going for the sprite to the sprite let's go for the witchcraft or any any spray that you want to come you can choose it but for me i'm going to choose the witchcraft because for hide and seek this is that type of uh suit that so um, Let's hold on for a while. I, I can see that my system is running a little bit slow because of what I'm doing at the background. So it's going to take a while. Alright, now so let's scroll to let's see if we can get someone scary like this. Okay, yes. We have a wish and we don't have a wish that we can choose. Let me choose a wish. So, now my witch has come, so let's reduce the size of the witch to maybe 70 and I will hit my enter. The witch is even still too big, so let me give it 50 percent and let's see, oh yes, the 50 is good. So, now we are done with the, with the backdrop, then with the sprite. Can position the spider to any anywhere. So this this use the spread and see what we can do to it. Alright, now let's go and build our blocks by choosing the first command. So first of all, as usual as we always say, you, you click you choose from the event command where the button says when the flag is clicked, you, you drag it and you put it at the block area. Now at the block area as usual, what do we want to do? We said we want to do hide and seek. So the hide and seek we are going to choose forever command. So we're going for forever. This time we're not going to use repeat. We're going to use forever. Forever means we want the thing to be repeated. Unless we set um, maybe uh, time and game over settings, if you want to add those advanced settings, you can also do that. But for now, we are just uh, 
certain as some put going for 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 the weight to be high and also show in certain seconds. So let's move to the motion. We want yeah, one that's bright. That is a witch to be high and show in a second time. So first of all, we click on high. This means that when the flag is clicked, the witch should hide. In some few seconds, uh, in some few seconds, the witch should show. Okay. So we're going for our show block then we, we insert it under the weight. And the next one comes with the with the costume. Because sometimes the witch gives a high or just post. So if you want to show those things you can go in for it. So I I pick the the what the costume now we said we are building a hide and seek which means that this witch standing here should be what should be hiding and show in a certain position so we say random positions she hide from this point and show from this angle she hide from this place and show at this area all the distances between me and you so let's go in for the the random position so we just have to click on motion then we go through and find go to random position and put it under the next costume that means that the witch in this angle will be hiding and showing any area of this backdrop then we're going for our weight button again which is our, the control we pick the weight and drop it under the go to random position with the same one minute and the next one is where we've been inserting our our other technicians that is if you want to insert in the time and grade you can also do that but for now let's try it with this code and see what will happen to our weight so i'll go and click on the flag and see what will happen so immediately I click, you can see that the witch will be hiding and showing from the other positions. So you can see. So this is what we have got over the hide and see. So it's just a simple code. First of all, let me click on the stop button and let's go to the commands. Okay, the block command. So when you check it, on the top here, I picked when the flag click forever command will come, which will contain the effect that I want uh, the witch to be taken high, good, and so within the seconds. Then the costume will also come. Then the random position, jump up from the picture, and the other one so our hide and seek uh, start from this level thank you for listening i hope you'll be practicing so far so good and keep on practicing please whatever you do you can give me a screenshot of your video of what you've been doing so far so that i can give you a comment or a point on those activities that you'll be doing we will continue to add in extra things like uh, inserting a time, then adding up uh, again scope, mm -hmm. then you give it uh, a sound. If the person click on the witch, if I click it, I should hear a sound. Bah. Then the time also would start moving. In the scores, that number of times that we will click on the which and the scores will also work moving. So that step will be in our next tutorials for the hide and seek game. Thank you for listening. See you in the next.
the deal. Bye.